Welcome. In today's video, I'll be unboxing and setting up the Match X M2 Pro Miner and showing you how to pair it up to your phone and start earning MXC tokens. I will leave any relevant links in the description below. At a glance, opening the box, the first thing you would see is an instructional booklet and flyer. They provide information on the product and a QR code to help you pair the miner to a mobile application. Within the box, you are provided the following items. The M2 Pro Miner, three antennas labeled G, Low and Low, a screw set if you require to install the miner onto a wall, double-sided tape allowing you to stick the cable clips onto a wall to neatly run the ethernet cable around your home, a power unit which will be used to connect a power cable and two ethernet cables, one to be used for power over ethernet and the other to be used to connect the miner to your modem, and finally, a metal clamp if you choose to mount the unit to a pole. The first step is to remove the cap from the bottom of the miner so you can have direct access to the serial code. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the two screws and slide the cap off. Take a note of your miner MAC address and serial number. The next step is to download the MXC Data Dash app. Using the flyer provided, scan the QR code on the top left hand corner. This will direct you to the app or Google Play Store. Open the app and select sign up. Select the region you are placing your miner. Enter your email address and select continue. Type in the verification code sent to your email address. Enter all the selected information for your new account, agree to the terms and conditions and privacy policy, and then select next. Connect your miner to the app by scanning or manually typing in the serial number provided on the back of the miner. Then click confirm. You will now have successfully connected the miner to the app. The final step is to connect the miner to the internet. Using the antennas provided, match the letters on the antenna to the letters on the miner. Port A will not require an antenna for now. This might be of use in the near future to provide a 4G connection. So G will screw into G and low into L. Ensure all antennas are screwed on tight. You can now feed the ethernet cable through the miner cover and connect one end into your miner. The other end of the ethernet cable will connect into a PoE port on the power unit. Using the extra ethernet cable supplied, connect one end into the LAN port and the other end into the back of your internet modem. The miner can be paired to Wi-Fi, however it is not as straightforward as it seems. I will be covering a video on how you can do this. The last step is to connect the power cord to the unit and into a power supply. The miner will run different blinking lights and once solid green, it will be live on the network. You can check the status by opening up your Data Dash app, select miner and scroll down to list of miners. Here you should be able to see the miner online. If you do run into some issues, here are some quick troubleshooting tips which might be of help. Gateway model not supported. This screen might pop up after trying to scan the QR code on the miner. If scanning the QR code does not work, try to manually input the miner serial number. If this also does not work, log out of the app and start the registration process again. Ensure your phone or device is connected to the internet. To note, the miner does not require to be connected to your modem or internet at this point. Miner red light. If the M2 Pro light stays red during the setup, the miner is struggling to connect to your internet via Ethernet. You can confirm if your miner is running by checking it can be found under the network section on your computer. The miner can lose connection if the antennas are not screwed on correctly. Also check that the Ethernet is correctly plugged into your modem and power unit. Do try an alternative Ethernet cable or Ethernet port on the modem if the miner continues to show a red light. Quick tip. To gain the best from your miner, install it in an upright position and as high as possible. I hope you found this video useful. If so, please do give it a thumbs up, do subscribe and stay tuned for more mining and crypto content. Thank you all for watching. Peace.